<laughs> okay, so your boy Earl Away Bully Smith trying to clap at my boy Kel Brook. Talk him out, leave me alone. You haven't done anything in the last 12 months. Playboy. First of all, so we got guys out there, a lot of you cocksuckers, you know, the dudes that be riding all over your boy Earl Away Bully Smith's nuts. Y'all all happy about that? Listen, talk him out. He ended Kel Brook's career. First of all, we all know in the reports this came out yesterday that my boy Kel Brook, first of all, we already knew Kel Brook was weight drain. We already know he just took a loss to Triple G. We already know that his eye was twisted going into the fight versus your boy the way Bully Smith. We already know that Kel Brook, right, didn't have to fight the way Bully Smith. He had Jesse Vargas to unify with. You see what I'm saying? He had other opportunities, but he said, you know what? I'm going to take that mandatory challenge even though I'm not 100%. That's a real G right there. So for early way Bully talking about he don't want to give a rematch because you trying to skip the line and all that well who you trying to fight you trying to go after Danny Garcia the no look master right you ain't trying to go after the king of the sport 147 my boy Thomas Crawford you dig what I'm saying so you coming out talking about you a savage after you got chased and your car crashed on the highway and you talking about you was drunk you wasn't simply drunk deuce about to eat that fool point blank period let the truth come out you see what I'm saying now Cal Brook deserves a rematch because of everything he gave up to fight the way Bully Spence when he didn't have to. You see what I'm saying? He did not aim Kell Brook correct. First of all, Kell Brook is a G. Kell Brook is skilled, fast, strong. He came to the stage, took the belt from your boy Sean Porter, the same guy that put hands and feet on you. So what do you mean? Now, I believe Kell Brook needed a fight or two. Now he's going to have a fight tomorrow. That's going to be a beautiful thing. He's going up against a tough competitor. I'm talking about a tough competitor. I'm talking about a guy that's front foot dominant. I say he's probably a level beneath the way Bully Smith, the guy he's fighting tomorrow. We're going to get into that. But he's going up against a guy tomorrow that's going to show us what Carol Brook got left. So I'm like you. And the fact will, I need to see if Carol Brook is the Carol Brook that went in the ring with the boy Sean Porter. I need to see if that's the same Carol Brook that was giving the business to your boy Triple G. I need to see if that's the same Carol Brook that beat your boy the way Bully Smith for seven rounds, people. See, Carol Brook had everything on his side. He was fighting in his country, right? He had his fans behind him. Right? He was champion. Right? So, he went into that fight and gave it what he could under the circumstances. And I don't like to make excuses. See, UK fighters, they don't make excuses. You see what my boy Anthony Joshua did to your boy Andy Ruiz. No excuses. Came in that ring and boxed his ears off. So, what I'm trying to tell you is this. The way Bully knows that he don't want no more chocolate brownies. He tasted those chocolate brownies. Matter of fact, when he got that victory, he was eating chocolate brownies. Right? You smell me? And his face was lumped up. Lumped up because Carol Brook was giving him that work. And Carol Brook's face was good money other than that eye. And if the eye didn't fail, right, he would have been able to win a 12-round decision. He was going to the body on your boy. He was closing the gap on your boy. He was out boxing, out skilling, hitting him with hooks, hitting him with left. I want to see the rematch, people. So all you cocksuckers running around talking about the way Bully Smith. Listen. I got Danny Garcia beating him. I got Manny, Gar Manny Pacquiao beating him. I got Keith Thurman, fat ass, coming back, beating him. I got Crawford smashing him. You understand what I'm trying to tell you now? What we need to understand is this. These guys will meet at 154 no matter what. Because Kell Brook on a show and prove to the world why he is the truth and why you forgot about him. Why he was on his, you know, chill out. He was chilling. He was relaxing. Got some issues in this, in this, in this country. You understand me? Like everybody else on PBC got issues. You got the, the weight bully, the bisexual Davis locked up for putting hands on a female. You see what I'm saying? He, he learned from his mentor, Floyd Mayweather. You see what I'm talking about? You, you feel me? You got the weight bully Smith running from dudes that he had street beef with, crashing the whip all over the car. Could have hurt some people, some innocent people. You see what I'm talking about? So don't act like, you feel me? That uh, we ain't got problems with our U.S. boxes. Don't don't try to play it like Carol Brook is the only one that got female issues and got stabbed in his leg and he wasn't on weight. And my boy Eddie Hearn said in the press conference yesterday, Carol Brook haven't been making weight properly for his last four fights. And the, the, the tough fights too. The Sean Porter fight. He said, yo, I wasn't in a hundred. 
You know what I mean? I went in there with guts and heart and skills and ability from the UK, came to the States and put hands and feet on your boy, Sean Porter. That, that, that victory looked beautiful today, showing you how Sean Porter is a real skilled G. Huh? You see what I'm saying? Uh, Eddie Hearn said even for the weight bully Spence fight, he was in the locker room shook because he didn't think he was going to make weight because he was overweight. That's why the weight bully, y'all got to go back to that time. The weight bully kept saying, because you know, the weight bully was a regular kid. Right? He was a good kid at that time, right? You know, spoken when spoken to, well mannered, cutting his hair properly, wearing pants up to his waistline. You see what I'm saying? No sagging, wearing shoes, you know. And then he start wearing pocketbooks and skirts when he got a few dollars. You see what I'm talking about? Let's talk about that cocksucker when he was doing interviews with the, uh, the boxing uh, nation and he was doing interviews with him. He was talking all nice and I liked the kid. I picked him to beat to beat Cal Brook. You go check the video. That was when I first started YouTube, bro. You understand me? I picked the weight bully because I liked it what he brought to the table. I liked it that he was a good kid and I liked it, his skills and ability and I knew that those body shots that he was bringing back to the sport was a beautiful thing because the boxing world forgot about the body shots. You see what I'm saying? But back to the point, the weight bully kept saying in every press conference, you better make weight, Cal. Cal, like, yeah, I'm giving you chocolate brownie. He said, what's the, what's the chocolate brownie? Yeah, you better make weight, Cal. He kept saying you better make weight because these boxers understand, right? Making weight is hard and it's it, it's debilitating. You see what I'm saying? You can gas out in the, 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 the second half of the fight. And what happened? The way Bully Spence won the second half of the fight, man. You see what I'm saying? People, don't let those cocksuckers confuse you. Don't let the LDBC confuse you. Those cocksuckers don't know nothing about boxing. That's why they won't get in the ring with CBT. That's why they won't take up the challenge. I put money on the wood. I put it on the screen. I showed you. What's shaking? What's good? Two grand. And I put hands and feet on barbershop conversations in his home, in his hometown, border walls and all that. I said that. I want that. And I put $100 on the side saying I knock him out. I'm about to win three grand. He don't want that smoke. I, I called out the boxing egos in the 78s and the, and the, and the, and the blue bloods. The niggas don't want that smoke because they just talking behind a computer. So I'm here to tell you, I don't have no, no, you know, personal beef with these cocksuckers. If I see him at an event, it's walking past him and what's shaking, what's good. Don't even look at me. I'm going to smack you if you're going to smile at me. You see what I'm saying? Don't even address me. Don't even look at my shoes. Don't even look at my tie. Don't even look at my hair. Got the curls for the girls. I may cut it, cut it back to the waist, to the base, but I'm trying to tell you what's this. You dig? Carol Brooke is the truth. And he will defeat the way Bully Spence in that rematch. So the way Bully says, I took those chocolate brownies. Now leave me alone. After tomorrow, Carol Brooke gonna say I want those chocolate brownies back. And what's your favorite fighter gonna say? Rock with your boy, subscribe to the channel. Peace. Wait, bully, I wanna touch the way bully. I heard the way bully fist on the side. <laughs> After El Cabo put hands and feet on him, we don't need him. We don't need him, man. He can't sell one chick. I stop between me and you. I heard the way bully. Smith was juiced up for the Lamont Peterson fight. Yeah, I heard Al Hammond paid Lamont Peterson to take a dive for the shit. We all know who was down with the van. I'm gonna turn you into a star, man. I'm gonna turn you into a star, man. I wanna, I wanna touch the weight, bully. I wanna touch the weight, bully. <laughs> See, you got the boxing conversation sucking niggas off at the fights, man. Sucking off grown and sucking off the child over things like that, man. You want that type of interview? You want what CBT bring to the table, man. CBT asking tough questions, yeah. CBT asks when you testing, huh? CBT asks when next time you testing, huh? You the way bully Smith, so I gotta ask when, when the last time you test for the WBC. When the last time you tested for any type of test that you take gonna have to be when you go up against a real fighter, huh? When you go up against an A-level opponent, huh? When a guy like got a jab and that guy like a move his free. Fucking around, throw that lazy ass jab and get Put the sleep. He can put in the ring with CBT and watch me work on shit. Watch me put hands in free. I'm gonna do it, man. What I'm gonna do? Rock it with your boy CBT, I'm man. With the best man. Other channels can't do this. Like I'm giving it to you, man. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about boxing, man. <laughs> it's all about boxing, man. What you need to do is rock with your boy. Let this beat ride out. Subscribe to the channel, man. Hit the notifications. That's the button up top, man. Because you rocking with the best, man. Rock with your boy. Peace.